Mark, I think uh, I, I went immediately once I saw this this initial piece of video, and I went immediately to your Twitter page because I know you yeah. have a strong voice and you have an opinion, and I was just curious your take on it. And I think I would imagine your 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 take yeah. remains now that we're seeing more and more pieces of video that that it is like the the criminalization of of a victim. Yes, and this we see this over hmm. and over and over again. Whenever there's a, particularly a black victim, we begin to delve into their life, into their behavior, and we end up putting them on trial as opposed to the person who killed them. And now in this case, even before I knew that, that there was no connection between the shoplifting charge and, and, the, and, the, and the cop stop, I still said these two things are not connected. It, this is not a capital offense. Even if he did commit a crime, that doesn't make you deserving of lethal force. And if your hands are in the air, you shouldn't be shot. You know, if Paul Callen were sitting here and he was an attorney, basically arguing it, it, it does matter and he said it matters because uh, with this police officer who did not know about the robbery Michael Brown knew about the robbery and that would predicate uh, aggressive behavior potentially toward an officer which could then predicate the defense of force that's that's jumping it's a, to a, it's lot a reasonable of argument but that's what that was it, his it's, argument. A, it's a bit of a leap and it's not necessarily consistent with the witness reports that we've heard all week and it's not consistent with where he was shot and how far he was from the police car right so those 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 facts that we have access to don't bear that out but as, 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 an, as an abstract idea absolutely that could stay matter stay with me because I want to broaden this out but Brian Stelter to you you know um, listen when we when we I say we CNN we members of the media play these videos and show these pictures it's not like we just pop it up on the screen there are very important people that sit in a room with the door closed you know really really going over and churning whether or not we should play these these kinds of items I mean decisions are, are, are made they are and it's important not to run them endlessly on a loop it is important to run them we do need to see it but we also need to be aware of all the context and I I love the banner it was on the bottom of the screen when we were showing the video it says police detail robbery but not shooting that is where the focus still needs to be if you're a cynic you might suggest that this press conference this morning happened and we heard all about uh, about the the robbery but we still haven't heard the details of what happened uh, with the shooting and in the immediate aftermath of the shooting when a young man's body laid on the ground there for hours and then was pushed into the back of an SUV if you're a cynic you might think the police were trying to distract us from those questions.